Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Funny Vlogs and today we have the weekly roundup video so let's get straight into this, we have a bit to talk about. Let's start off with the news, obviously Vinnie Perks has been sacked as manager of Dundalk, we know that at this stage but um, Vinnie obviously was on RT last night covering the Shamrock Rovers Shelburne game and he had a bit to say, there's still a few contract issues that need to be sorted so he couldn't say too much but... You know, he did allude that there has been problems behind the scenes for many months. I did hear before the St. Pat's game that there were issues behind the scenes. Um, you know, disagreements between himself and the board. He didn't see it say what the disagreements are, but there definitely has been disagreements between himself and the board. So it was always going to lead to this conclusion. Um, if the board are starting to interfere at matters of Dundalk, I think they're in big trouble personally. Um, Mark Burton, who's been a coach at Manchester City, has been linked to the role. Um, he's been hanging around Oriel Park for the last two few weeks as well, and uh, his record looks interesting as well. He 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 was up for charges for uh, you know abuse of academy players at Man City as well. So things don't sound very good at Dundalk at the moment, but uh, be interesting to see what happens in the next few days. But it sounds like to me the Dundalk board are looking for a yes man. Now, sticking with managerial news, earlier on the week, Derry City confirmed that Declan Devine signed a new deal, which will see his contract um, expire in 2021. So, interesting news that, because obviously there was uh, a lot of rumours a few weeks ago that Devine would be leaving, actually, at the end of the season and taking up maybe a post in uh, the US, some kind of a coaching post, but... Um, I think it's good news for Derry City. I think Devine is a very, very good manager. And I think he's a real League of Ireland manager as well, if you get me. I think he has, uh, obviously, he's Derry at heart. And, um, you know, he obviously wants to do the best for Derry City. But I, I think he's a, he's a League of Ireland man, big time. And the more League of Ireland men we have in the league, let's be honest, the better that, you know, the interests are there. But, um, yeah, I think it's good news for Derry City. Devine's a good manager. They have a very, very good squad, in my opinion. It just needs to click for them. Um, and hopefully the talk of Toromile now is over for Derry City. Now, the day after uh, Galway's 1-0 defeat at the United, Alan Murphy, unfortunately for him, was relieved of his duties at the Tribes men. Murphy had been first team manager of the club since July 2018. But things particularly this season, they didn't have a great season last season, if we're honest, but um, I think it was right to give him another go. Um, but unfortunately, they, I believe they were the b biggest budget in the first division. If not, it's very close, but I believe it is the biggest. And it's just not good enough results. You know, second bottom, hadn't won this season. Unfortunately, not good enough. And unfortunately, I think this was the right decision. Uh, it just didn't click for Alan at the club. But interestingly, the club, who... I suggested a few days ago they should go in for have actually appointed John Caulfield's manager. I think this is a great uh, coup for the club. Caulfield, I think, is a type of manager that t tends to get the best out of resources. Um, you know, Galway, one of the biggest budgets for sure in the first division. I think uh, Caulfield will get the best out of that. I don't think... It's still possible they could reach the playoffs this season, guys, to be honest with you. It only takes a few results to get into the playoffs. But I think it'll be next season before he can really sort things out. He needs to have a look at the players he has and, uh, you know, have a look at the budget and see what type of players he can bring to the club for next season. But definitely exciting times, I believe, for Galway United. Excellent appointment. And I'm sure, I am sure John will have them firing for next season. No doubt about it. Now, a little bit of transfer news. First up for Finn Harps. Uh, they have signed... 30-year-old forward Adam Foley from Newry City. He scored 13 goals for the club last season uh, before the March pandemic. Foley was snapped up by boss Darren Malone June 2019 from Glebe North in the Leinster Senior League. He previous spells at Glen Avon and Porter Down. Um, look, it's an interesting signing for Finn Harps. I wouldn't know an awful lot about him, but Finn Harps definitely need a striker. Katara has been playing up front in his own and working very hard. Uh, at this stage of his career, that was very difficult. They obviously lost Cameron Sowell. Um, you know, he had a bad injury and 
unfortunately the contract had to come to an end and Cogler hasn't been doing it for them to be honest with you so they needed something uh, whether it's enough for them to stay up in the division it's anybody's guess but um, they needed to make a signing up top I believe now staying with transfers Shelburne FC are delighted to announce the signing of Mark Byrne after the Dubliners four years at League 1 at Gillingham uh, Byrne is quite versatile he can play midfielder right back and he's been training for a while now with Shelburne, seemingly. He's made 157 appearances for G- Gillingham. Gillingham, I was going to call him. I was named the club's player of the year in 2017-2018. So he joins Shelburne until the end of the season. Uh, it looks like an interesting sign in this one, actually. Uh, Morris himself said he's delighted to have a player of Mark's quality and experience. He can play midfield, fullback, or out wide, according to Morris. Um... You know, he's played 400 games in England, over 400 games in England. And, uh, you know, it's a testament to the attitude and the quality he possesses, to be fair. And that's something that Ian Morris hinted that as well. But um, I suppose Shelburne fans will be thinking, you know, it's kind of in the realm of a, of a Gary Deegan signing, isn't it? The experience Deegan obviously had over in England. And he's come in now, he's captain of Shelburne. And uh, he's... He's made a massive difference to that Shelburne midfield and to the players around him, I believe, as well. If Mark Bourne could do something similar, it'd be a big coup for Shelburne. Uh, so interested to see how he goes on. Certainly uh, a signing to watch out for and um, interested to see how he, uh, where he plays for a start for Shelburne because I know Poynton plays right back and he was excellent in their match against Shamrock Rovers yesterday, but... Uh, you know, the more players with a bit of experience, I think the better for Shelburne. So good signing would appear for me anyway. Now sticking to transfers and Derry City have signed Stoke City defender Cameron McJanish. Uh, he can play left back and centre back. Um, he's been brought in basically to cover Ali Gilchrist, who picked up an injury and be missing for at least the next few weeks. So uh, I'd imagine, uh, you know, he's brought in as a squad player, but who knows, he might force his way into that team as well. So that's an update from Derry City. Now, a bit of retirement news. Sean Brennan has announced his retirement from football. Um, Sean made 178 appearances for Drotted United and played for Monaghan United, unfortunately, have gone. Shelburne FC and Athlone Town AFC. Um, Sean will continue to work with the Boyne Siders as a backroom staff member until the end of the season. Um, yeah, Sean has been a great player for Drotada. I think um, I did a video, each player's, each team's best player in the last decade. And I think I picked Sean for Drotada United. Um, he's been a heartbeat of that team for a while now. Um, obviously, Sean knows he's uh, get, he's gone to the toilet his career a little bit. Drotada, I suppose, are moving on. They have a lot of dynamic players in their team. Uh, mind you, I still think... You know, Sean can be a settling influence at times in that team as well because he's got a good passing range and sometimes you need a player to just say, relax, guys, let's slow this down a little bit. And I think he can be very useful in that aspect. Um, But, you know, Sean will definitely be around Drotted. I've no doubt about that. Um, And he'll continue his legacy there, I suppose. But um, look, best of luck to Sean in his endeavours. So, guys, that's about it this week for the weekly roundup. Uh, check out all the other videos. I think I produced about six videos this week. Uh, I lost count, to be honest. But um, check out the prediction video. Uh, we still have games to be played, obviously, today, Saturday, and Sunday. And um, don't be afraid to leave your predictions as well. Like, subscribe, and hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. And, guys, I hope you have a good weekend. The sun is shining. So, we'll see you later. Good luck.